All right, so I'm gonna answer the question is, what is a filling material? There's two types of common filling materials. The old type, which is known as an amalgam, a mercury amalgam. The word amalgam means just multiple different uh, metals kind of smashed together. In this case, uh, metal fillings are made of mercury, tin, silver, and copper. That's what they amalgam these things together, smash together, and then fill it inside your tooth. That is the older version. Not many dentists place these anymore. The newer version is what we call the tooth colored version. The tooth colored materials are separated into two types. There's the resin based plastic filling and then the ceramic based filling. Um, the original filling, when they went to white, they, it, was, it was plastic based. Plastic is not biocompatible with the human body. What makes something biocompatible is whether it reacts, it's reactive with the body. There's chemicals inside that plastic filling so they, they can make it to hold together that reacts with the human body. It may be minimal, but it's not something I want to risk my patients with. So that's why I use only 100% ceramic materials, all right? Ceramic is not reactive with the body. It lasts a long time. It looks great. It feels great. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the number one material to use for fillings, and that's why I use it here. So if you look at th this, this tooth is actually this tooth over here. I removed this metal filling. I removed the tooth decay, and then I placed in a filling. So this is a much better um, restoration than that one, and uh, that's why I use it. And that answers what the type of filling materials are out there.